What's good, YouTube Nights? This is your man, TiVo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box and the long-awaited Big Scoop of 2020. I've been teasing it the last few days in collaboration with my man, Mikey Sutton. Part 1 is over at Cosmic Wonder. I'll leave a link to their video in the description below. But first off, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So when we get to 3,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a really killer giveaway from KRS Comics with some exclusive variants. You know how we rock it with KRS Comics, man. So let's get right to it, man. I'm going to read this verbatim, the scoop that we got uh, from Cosmic Wonder. I'm going to first go over the Cosmic Wonder part. Thank you to Cosmic Wonder part one for part one of the Mikey Sutton scoop. Before I read you part two, allow me to deliver you in summary of part one from the Cosmic Wonder. There are dimensions beyond which are known to man. There's one MCU superhero who specializes in journeying into these Twilight Zones. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Marvel Studios dives headlong into the psychedelic reality warps of Steve Ditko, aiming for the otherworldly terrors of H.P. Lovecraft. Involving extraterrestrial landscapes that the Avengers are not accustomed to, Doctor Strange will need, to group, will need a group of new guardians that will protect Earth from the portal that the Scarlet Witch will rip wide open for other worldlies to invade our planet. Now, if you've been paying attention, we've been dropping scoops that in the Multiverse of Madness or quite possibly in WandaVision, she's going to be the one that kind of opens these portals to the other multiverses. Then Doctor Strange is the one that has to deal with this and deal with Scarlet Witch because this follows... In the comics where Scarlet Witch kind of goes crazy and if you remember House of M in those moments and how powerful she really is and how she can literally warp reality. So, um, according to our insiders, Doctor Strange will end up forming the Illuminati, a secret organization of highly intelligent and powerful individuals at the end of the Multiverse of Madness. This mysterious collective will include Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four and Professor X of the X-Men being, being planned to make his debut in this movie. She's Please keep in mind that this intel is from private conversations that have transpired before pre-production, so any changes that have happened since are unknown. From this information, though, Professor X will make his first MCU appearance in the Multiverse of Madness. Who else is being developed for the Illuminati? Well, here it goes. Now here's part two, and this is a Lord's Alarm Box exclusive. According to Mikey Sutton sources, Black Bolt, Namor, and Black Panther will apparently be joining this group of eggheads, and the magic has only begun. There's been talk of Scarlet Witch reviving Black Widow after wrestling her soul away as she puts the hurt on the Red Skull. Whether that happens in a Multiverse of Madness remains to be seen, but it's being plotted. According to multiple sources, Multiverse of Madness will be followed by Triumph and Torment, in which Doctor Strange goes to hell with Doctor Doom to rescue his mother's soul from Mephisto. Let's try to put all that together. Well, that's a lot to pack in. So let me first off and say, so what we got going on here is toward the end of the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange is going to form the Illuminati. These different multiverses are apparently created by Scarlet Witch who goes crazy and creates these multiple um, multiverses. And that's why the Illuminati is formed, similar to in the comics where the Illuminati is formed to deal with really large threats on a worldly scale, on a universal scale. And they do a lot of the dirty work that not everybody can do. And that's why Captain America famously was kicked off the team. Doctor Strange erased his memory and said, see ya. Because, you know, they had Namor, Black Panther, Black Bolt. And I know Black Bolt didn't say much, but he was still important. You know what I'm saying? So also, so we're finding that they are forming the comics version because they can they can finally do that now. They have, they have all the rights to um, Fox. Uh, they have the right to use Namor. I'm also hearing that they still want The Rock to play Namor. So we got Black Bolt, Namor, uh, Black Panther, Reed Richards, and Professor X, along with Doctor Strange. This is going to be huge. This is Captain America Civil War huge, where it almost felt like an Avengers film that there were so many characters in it. So, And then the third part of this is a little nugget that they we dropped a while ago that they're looking to develop Triumph and Torment, the graphic novel for the Doctor Strange 3 film in which Doctor Strange uh, aids Doctor Doom in getting his mother's soul back from Mephisto. It's a great read. It's just a single graphic novel. They came out in a trade and it came back in a hard uh, hardcover. It's a great read. If you're a fan of Doctor Strange or Doctor Doom, I highly suggest you go out and read it. This would be a absolute great story to tell. A lot smaller in scope than into the multiverse of madness since it's really a story about dr doom and dr strange more so about dr doom it actually really humanizes dr doom if you ever read it so i'm really excited to see that 
Of all this, tell me in the comments below, what are you excited to see? The Illuminati, Scarlet Witch bringing back Black Widow from the Soul Stone or Triumph and Torment with Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom. So as we get more details in the upcoming weeks, we will drop it on you as we always do on Lords of Longbox. And as always, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.